I feel like you're trying to upset me. Stay calm. Don't get upset. It's gonna be okay. No, they fucking did not! You know what? Let's talk about it. Okay, here we go. Do you know why America doesn't use a metric system? It's because of pirates. No, that's not a joke. That really is the reason. You see, in 1793, Thomas Jefferson, the United States Secretary of the State at the time, was put in charge of figuring out a new standardized system of measurement for America. He heard about this really cool new system coming out of France called the metric system. He got a hold of France and ordered up some samples. It looked like this. That is supposed to be the standard kilogram. Whatever the fuck that is. While they were on their way over to America from France, pirates stole them. And Thomas Jefferson said, fuck it, we're doing shit in twelfths forever. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't know that. I had to look it up. If you would have asked me yesterday why America does shit in twelfths and everybody else does it in tenths, I would have said something along the lines of those extra two units are symbolic of our back-to-back -back world war wins. Which is why I hope we never have a third world war, because I don't want to have to buy a new tape measure and start doing shit in thirteenths. But we're talking about NASA specifically, aren't we? Here's the deal. Did NASA do some calculations in metric? Probably. Does that mean that metric put a man on the moon? Nah! Let's go over the series of events from the beginning. The United States government collected tax money from their citizens who did all their things in twelfths. It then took that money, gave it to NASA, and NASA hired a bunch of tradesmen to build them buildings. All the concrete was poured by the yard. The electrical wiring was in three-quarter conduit. The plumbing was in half-inch copper. The structural steel was held together with half-inch bolts. Then, after the building was done, they hired a bunch of smart people to do some math. Those big brain people drove to those buildings in cars that were held together with quarter-20 bolts on roads that were poured by the yard with speed limits that were in miles per hour. Then, American machinists made a fucking spaceship using the standard imperial system, aka twelfths. The gauge readouts in that spaceship were in miles per hour. I mean, come on, do you really think a guy named Neil Armstrong knows what the fuck a kilometer is? So no, the metric system did not put a man on the moon. The metric system was used in a couple of math problems that were only made possible because of the standard imperial system. And then those math problems were executed in twelfths. Sure, it makes a lot more sense that water would freeze at zero and boil at a hundred. As opposed to freezing at 32 and boiling at 200 and fucking 12. Sure, it's a lot easier to do math in tenths as opposed to twelfths. In conclusion, I guess what I'm trying to say, did the metric system put a man on the moon? No. Is the metric system probably better and make more sense? Yes. Am I ever going to admit that? Absolutely fucking not. Did I just contradict myself? Fucking maybe. Also worth mentioning, in capitalist America, we drink beer by the 12 pack, not the fucking 10 pack. And if you enjoy my content and would like to buy me a beer, there's a link for that right here. So until next time, quack bang out.